Right now, all we know about Star Wars Episode Eight is some of the people who are working on the movie and a handful of rumors and theories. So let's take a look as we begin to piece this puzzle together in the wake of Episode Seven. Currently filming, the only confirmed cast members are Oscar Isaac, who, perhaps smarting from all the attention Daisy Ridley and John Boyega are getting, let it slip he'll be in Episode 8, and Benicio Del Toro, who rumor pegs as a villain. Yet Del Toro has only said he's been cast. Then Boyega was sort of confirmed for Episode 8 by reports that he screen tested with several actresses up for a new role. Gina Rodriguez, Tatiana Maslany, Olivia Cook, and Gugu Mbatha-Ra. Mbatha-Raw has been rumored to have won the role, which was widely reported, but Disney never made any announcements to confirm it. But it is worth noting the other actresses have accepted roles in other movies that would conflict with Episode 8's production schedule. Brick and Looper writer-director Ryan Johnson is writing and directing Episode 8, and for a while it was said he'd finish out what's being called the sequel trilogy. However, Jurassic World's Colin Trevorrow was too tempting for Disney to pass up, so he'll be directing and overseeing the script writing of Johnson's overall idea for Episode 9. And hey, if Johnson's writing directing, will his lucky charm Joseph Gordon-Levitt show up? JGL even had a cameo in The Brothers Bloom. Then, Star Wars fans have noted that one of the first places Johnson has filmed already is Skellig Michael Island in Ireland, where Daisy Ridley and Mark Hamill filmed several scenes for The Force Awakens. That would imply one or both actors will return for Episode 8, because maybe one of them's remembering the other in some sort of touching flashback scene. Hamill's inclusion makes sense because Lucasfilm President Kathleen Kennedy has clarified that episode films are about the Skywalker clan. And by the way, whoever is revealed to be a Skywalker in The Force Awakens will likely be front and center for Episode 8. That could be Ridley, Boyega, or even Kylo Ren, who Disney has spent so much time promoting, yet not Adam Driver. In fact, they haven't even really built up Kylo Ren as a clear-cut villain. I believe Kylo Ren will become the anti-hero of the sequel trilogy, aka my Kylo Azuko theory. But speaking of Skywalkers, don't be surprised if General Leia gets called away on business, as Carrie Fisher has been the only one on the face of the Earth with anything unpleasant to say about Star Wars leading up to Episode 7's release. But everyone seems to love Captain Phasma, who's not only been a hit with fans, but J.J. Abrams. He not only seems delighted with the character in interviews, but has admitted he kind of shortchanged her a bit in The Force Awakens. And since I'm getting a Boba Fett level of fandom vibe for Captain Phasma, don't be surprised if her role expands in Episode 8. She might even take her helmet off, or would that defeat the purpose? Finally, here are some of the rumors circulating for Episode 8. While Gugu Mbatha-Ra might have one new female role in the bag, there are rumors that there might be another one up for grabs, and that one of these two roles might be a female Sith. Although, where would that leave Kylo Ren or Captain Phasma? Some also believe one of these two new female roles might be Han and Leia's daughter, and Jaina Solo is a fan favorite from the extended universe. That was recently made non-canon. What better way to confuse old and new fans alike than to include those characters anyway? By the way, since Leia is a Skywalker, any of her and Han's kids would definitely qualify as keeping the episodes focused on the Skywalker family. On that note, perhaps the craziest rumor is that Hayden Christensen might return as Anakin Skywalker himself, either as a ghost or in a flashback scene. While some prequel fans might appreciate the nod of respect to that trilogy, it's hard to believe anyone at Disney or Lucasfilm could really be that dumb. But let's end on a good rumor. There are rumblings that Billy D. Williams might return as Lando Calrissian. Many Star Wars fans feel he should have returned for The Force Awakens and have been vocal about it. Plus, there is that Lando comic book from Marvel, and it sells really well. So as we turn our attention to Episode 8, what do you think? What do you hope is true, and what do you hope isn't true? Be sure to share your thoughts down below. I'm Grace Randolph, and also be sure to stay tuned for special Star Wars coverage celebrating the release of The Force Awakens. Here's some you can watch right now.